This is the Mina Bay Kinney in the beautiful nylon fabric. I'm really excited to share with you how this bag has held up because I've used it quite a lot and it still looks really, really good. I love that on the Kinney, they've actually done two separate materials. So most of it is going to be the awesome nylon fabric, but it's all trimmed out in a Napa leather. So this whole front flap that's on the Kinney is a beautiful Napa leather. And I think that it kind of gives it an awesome two-tone look, even though they're both black. I don't know, I just think it looks really good because they are like a little bit different in the coloring and the texture. The Kinney is one of my absolute favorite styles from Mina Bay and I think one of the reasons for that is because it's a really good size. It's not too big for every day, but it's not too small. I can still fit everything I need to in here. I could even throw my laptop in here if I needed to, which makes it an excellent like work bag and travel bag. But I'm pretty sure it's the one that has the most magnets as well. And if you've been here for any amount of time, you'll know I'm obsessed with magnets. And Mina Bay has the best magnets. They're nice and strong. They hold the bag in place. So I've just always been a big fan of the Kinney. And I believe that the Kinney style is one of their top selling bags and for good reason. It's a really well designed thought out bag. So it comes with a shorter strap here that you can use to throw over your shoulder. This is the perfect length to just go right under my arms. So I love having this and I really like where they have added the D-rings. Um, I think that on this one they tried to make the hardware a little more minimal and kind of hide the hardware away and I love that. So right here kind of on the inside is the D-ring. So if you don't have this attached, you can kind of tuck that down and you don't even see that it's there, which is really cool. On the back of the bag, you have your backpack straps. Um, I really love the Kinney backpack straps as well because they have this super cute buckle detail um, for the adjustment on the backpack strap. They're detachable from the bottom and you can tuck them away into this back pocket. It has a magnet right here, of course, and there is a zipper down here, so this can become a luggage sleeve, or um, you could just utilize this as a pocket, a place to um, tuck in your backpack straps if you're not wanting to use them, and you just want to use it as a shoulder bag. But I think one of the coolest designs is actually how the backpack straps attach at the top. It's just the fabric looped around that back section right there. So there is no hardware. And so it makes it really nice and quiet. It's really comfortable to wear. It's just a unique design. So I really love how these backpack straps are attached. The grab handle is great, nice and sturdy. And then the front flap has three separate strong magnets. So most of the time companies will just do one magnet here in the center for a flap closure. There's three on this one, which I love because it holds these sides down and it just makes the bag look nice and streamlined. Even when it's like on your back, it gives a nice sleek look instead of these sides kind of poking out and poking up. May not be a huge deal to everyone, but I definitely am a fan of having those extra magnets on the sides. So not only do you have the magnets for the flap, you have a magnetic closure for the front pocket that's right here. You have a magnetic closure for the two side pockets. And when you open this up, you have your zipper. And to make it so that your zipper is nice and wide and you can really get into the bag, you'll notice there is kind of two tails on both sides, but they magnetize to the sides of the bag. So cool and just so functional. You can see these magnets are so strong. Everything just finds its home nice and easily. On the bottom, you have four feet. And again, that nylon material, it is very nice and wipeable. I actually just wiped it down before this video so you weren't looking at all the dirty spots, but it looks clean again. Like I wiped it down and it looks brand new. So I love how easy this is to maintain and keep clean. The nylon from Mina Bay is one of the best nylon fabrics ever. It's just really durable and it feels like sturdy while still having a nice lightweight feel, um, which is also why I love this version of this bag because I've had a lot of Kinney's in the past and I think I love the nylon one the best just because it makes it nice and lightweight. I love the kind of two-tone look with the two different fabrics on the front and it just is such a classic look. In this front pocket, I'm gonna show you there is a tab right there um, that attaches to a hidden magnet. Inside this pocket, it's just a nice open space, but you do get a key leash right here on the side. So right there, I've attached my keys. And then I have in the center my wallet. And then off to this side, I'm keeping a few different things. I have my lip gloss. I have a chapstick. Oh, another lip gloss, just kidding. And then another <laughs> lip product. I have another chapstick right there. So all set on lip stuff. 
On this side, again, another magnetic closure. Um, I find that my bottles don't fit super well in these side pockets when I have the interior really full. Um, but if you're not packing as much on the inside, you could definitely fit um, a bottle right here. I'm keeping my phone and I think that's it for that pocket. But you could see my whole phone hid very well in that pocket and I was still able to um, magnetize this closed. So it's a really nice tall section to work with. And then on this side, I'm keeping my um, hand sanitizer spray. Like I mentioned, you have that back pocket here that I'm actually utilizing right now for all my random receipts. Um, I've just found it's a really great catch-all pocket for um, receipts and different like small papers or things that I need to keep track of. Um, can go nicely in there or you can utilize it for luggage, which is great. Now, this pocket here is really awesome. It's a zippered pocket and it kind of goes to the side of the bag and it's neoprene. So this is where I place my daughter's baby bottle. Um, this fits really nicely in there. I don't think you could fit anything much bigger. Um, so this is a Philips Avent bottle. It holds 11 ounces. So I like utilizing this pocket for that because um, in case this spills or sweats or something, neoprene's really easy to clean. And you can actually pull this whole pocket out and clean it up or you know shake it out, let it air dry if um, you need to, if something kind of spills in that section. Super nice, smooth zippers. The quality from Mina Bay is amazing. I'm never disappointed in any of the bags that I get from them. They all feel so nice and high-end. You have a double zipper here, and these are the Napa leather zipper pulls. Something I also love about this style is I can actually leave this unzipped and just kind of close the flap, and I feel like this is nice and secure, and then I can just flip that over, grab what I need, um, without even having to zip it closed, which is really awesome. Now I have this all packed up with um, some pouches from Mina Bay. The first thing right here in this very center is going to be their um, changing kit clutch. Um, this is in the black and gunmetal hardware. It does have a cute little um, snap wristlet strap over here on this side. And in here, I have the thinner um, changing pad. This one actually doesn't come with the changing kit. I purchased this separately just because I the other one is more like this. It makes it a little bit thicker in your bag. So I opted to grab this one, which is just a little bit thinner and it still has a magnetic closure on both sides and works just fine for me. It's big enough for my four month old. And then I also have all my diapering stuff, three diapers, I have my Mina Bay wipes case. This is my favorite wipes case. I'm sure you've seen this in like all of my videos for a long time now, and it just works really well. It does the job, it's nice and sturdy. Um, a lot of these have broken on me in the past, and this one is still holding up great. So I love this from Mina Bay. And then I also have some baggies from Munchkin for uh, like dirty soiled clothes or diapers. But this uh, changing kit clutch is a really um, good size. It's nice and big. I believe it's their biggest size packing case. Let me just show you here really quickly. Here is the full size for the Mia pouch set. And it is actually quite a bit bigger. It's taller and it is a little bit wider as well. Now I had that Mia pouch packing piece in the back section right here. That is normally like where you put a laptop. It's a padded section, um, but I like to put other things in there when I'm not needing a laptop. So in here is the uh, toiletry stuff that I might need. So I have some deodorant, I have a sunscreen, gas drops, nail clippers and tweezers, some lotion, a little bit of makeup, have a syringe, Frida tool, a foldable hairbrush, some lanolin, a olive and June cuticle cream, and then also some floss. You'll notice that on the inside of the largest piece from the Mia pouch set, you do get a zippered pocket, which is really nice. I actually didn't utilize it for anything um, right now, but I guess I could put these smaller items into there and just you know, being too lazy and just kind of throwing it all in. But all of this stuff fits with no problem. I don't have to worry about any of that fitting and I have room to spare. All right, everything else is organized into a pocket. So you'll see Mina Bay is awesome with all of their storage and organization. There are two elastic pockets on the front, two elastic pockets on the back. You have two on the sides and then a nice zippered pocket back here. 
And then even more up here at the top, there's going to be a zippered section over here and a little slip pocket right here. So, so many pockets to work with, so much to keep you organized. Um, let's see what's in this zippered section. I'm keeping an outfit for my daughter. Pretty sure I have socks in there as well. Yeah, just some extra outfit just in case. And then in the two elastic pockets in front of that, I have a um, the smallest piece from the Trio pouch set. I believe this is in the desert color. And in here I'm keeping just some mix-ins for my water stuff to give me some energy and um, help me get my greens throughout the day. And then in this one over here, I'm keeping all of my wipes. I have some wet ones and also some boogie wipes. Let's look at the sides. You can see this one pretty easily. I have a snack tower, I'm keeping some formula in there for my daughter. And then in this side pocket, on this side, I am just keeping a burp rag, um, just in case we have a spit up. <laughs> she's been super drooly lately. We think she's getting a couple teeth. Never had a kid get teeth this early. Um, so these two pockets right here, actually let me flip the bag around so you can see better this side because this side is really cool. Um, over here I have another one of the smallest um, pieces from the Mia pouch set and this is keeping stuff like extra mittens and pacifiers. I have a headband in there just in case we forget one. Okay and then in this elastic pocket I have my phone charger. Oh I also have down in that pocket a um, coin purse that is holding all of my band-aids and ointment. There's some uh, hair things in there as well, some bobby pins and eye drops, just lots of little stuff inside of this. Okay, right over here in this slip pocket, I have a snack and my gum. So my gum fits in there perfectly and also an applesauce pouch fits in there just fine as well. And then I love this zippered pocket. I think this is a great place if, if you don't keep your wallet in the front section, if you want it to be a little more secure, I think this pocket is perfect for that. It's a really deep pocket actually. It goes further down than this, the top of this elastic pocket right here. So you have a lot of room in here and I'm just keeping some gift cards and loyalty cards. What else is in there? Oh, my earbuds and my Tide to Go pen is in there as well. Even my pen um, fits in there with plenty of room to spare. So taller items like this will fit into that zipper pocket. Everything is trimmed and lined out in the beautiful Napa leather. The color that Mina Bay uses on the interior of their bags is always nice and light and bright so you can really see everything at the bottom of your bag. Plus it's really easy to wipe down and keep clean as well with this kind of nylon fabric. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this um, version of the Kinney in nylon. It's definitely um, one of my favorite bags for sure from Mina Bay. Just love how it packs up. I love the look and the style of it. It definitely doesn't feel like a diaper bag. It just feels like a beautiful, functional, everyday kind of backpack for me. And you can't really go wrong with a classic black and gold colorway. Let me know if you have any questions about this bag. I will, as always, leave the link to Shop Mina Bay down in the description box below. I do receive a small commission, so if you choose to Shop Mina Bay with me, I truly appreciate it. Helps me to keep my channel going and keep getting those reviews out. Which reminds me, if you have any specific reviews that you are wanting to see, please let me know down in the comments. I am trying to figure out which bags would be good to share with you guys next. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer and having a great day. I will let you guys get back to it and I'll see you for my next one.